Let's play a quick game of word association. You ready? Toyota. What's that? You say comfort. Uh, practicality? No, I bet most of you, you said reliability, didn't you? Uh, I bet none of you said fun. However, that's a word you can now associate with Toyota because it's built this. The GT86 is a good looking, back to basic sports car that's been designed to offer pure driving thrills at an affordable price. But being a Toyota, you can expect it to be reliable, practical and comfortable too. In fact, let's start by talking about comfort, shall we? Because this car has one of the best driving positions of any vehicle I've ever sat in. Because the steering wheel is at 90 degrees to you, you feel almost like you're in a race car and it doesn't really matter if you're big or small because there's plenty of adjustment in the seat and the wheel. Plus, because you sit low, it does feel nice and racy, but so's the dash, that's quite low as well, so you still get a great view out. Visibility is very good for a sports car, in fact. So too is the practicality. For instance, look, the glove box is pretty large. Yeah, got a big bottle in there, and there's room for it in the side door bin. There's even room for some energy drink here in a large central cubby. No, I won't be drinking that because this is not the kind of car that you ever feel tired in. There's a little place here for your keyless go and there's even somewhere for your iPhone down here and you can plug it straight into the stereo. That's nice and handy. And that brings me on to the equipment because this car is very, very well kitted out. There's only one model, so there's no faffing around with options. And it comes with stuff like dual zone climate control. You've got Bluetooth, you've got seven airbags, and it even gets an LSD as standard. Now, if you don't know what an LSD is, or you think that it's some kind of hallucinogenic drug that makes you go all bleh, well, this isn't the car for you. You should go and watch the review of the Audi TT. Go on, what are you still doing here? Go on, go watch it. Right, now they've gone, we can get to the meat of this review and take this car for a drive. <laughs> Toyota has built the GT86 in conjunction with Subaru, and so it's exactly the same pretty much as their BRZ. And what you've got is a classic front-engined, rear-wheel drive, sports car, but the clever thing that Toyota have done is that rather than giving it really wide rear tyres with loads of grip, it's got normal sized tyres which let go a little bit earlier and that means that you don't have to be going mega fast for it to feel nice and playful. Now you might be thinking that less grip is a bad thing but it's not at all because Toyota have got this chassis spot on, it handles so well and if you do run out of ability you don't need to worry too much because there are the excellent brakes and a really well judged traction control system which of course you can turn off completely if you want to take this car drifting. The thing for me about this car though is that you don't really need to take it to the track to have fun in it because on a back route such as this it just it makes you just feel so alive. I mean the reason for that is that all the controls just have such a wonderful feel to them. The steering, the brakes and the gear shift. I mean the gear shift's lovely. I just change gears for the sheer hell of it. And even the seat, you can feel the car moving about beneath your bottom, seeing exactly what it's doing on the road. I have to say, by comparison, many other sports cars, they just feel numb. You might be thinking that seeing as this car is such good fun, it's gonna be a bit of a pig to live with every day, but not at all. You really can have your cake and eat it because it's actually very easy to drive. It's comfortable, even though the suspension's firm, it deals with bumps okay. It's reasonably relaxing on the motorway and even at speed, it's pretty quiet. That is unless you drop it down a gear or two and then thrash the engine. <laughs> Now, that does actually bring me onto this car's downsides because one of the problems is the engine. It's a two litre, flat four boxer, and as you can hear, it makes a great noise. The problem with it is that you really have to thrash it to get the most out of it. And at lower revs, at below 4,500 RPM, pretty much it feels a little bit sluggish, especially next to the turbocharged engines you get in things like the Renault Sport Megane. Dare I say it? this car could do with being a little bit faster. Unfortunately, no matter how hard you work the engine, there's no getting away from the fact that the Toyota's 0-62 sprint time of 7.6 seconds means it can't keep up with a modern hot hatch for straight line pace. 
and it's not quite as nice inside as one either. For instance, some of the materials feel a bit low rent compared to those you'll find in a Volkswagen Sirocco, while certain features like the faux carbon trim and heat controls which mimic bolt heads are a bit tacky. However, they have nothing on the opposed Pistons logo on the front wings. Another problem is the boot. If you come from something like an MX-5, you'll go, what the heck are you talking about, Matthew? It's huge. But if you compare it to something like a Vauxhall Astra GTC, then it's not so good for carrying stuff. And this car is not so good for carrying your mates either because it's a bit of a squeeze in the back. For starters, it's a bit of a squeeze getting into the back and really there's no place for your ah, legs. That it, oh, well, it feels a bit like some form of medieval torture. I'm gonna to break my ankles. I'm gonna to have to get out of here. But you basically get the idea, don't you? In fact, I think I'm gonna to have to do a rear dismount. It's the only way out. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's good to be out of there. Because finally, we need to talk about image because a Toyota badge isn't as desirable as an Audi one. And for this money, you can actually have an Audi TT. That said, it is the entry level TT with absolutely no equipment on it at all. Whereas this thing is fully loaded and it has a five year warranty, but that's not the reason to buy the GT86. The reason to buy it is because it offers good old fashioned sports car thrills. And you know what, for that reason, you just gotta love it. Subscribe to the Car Buyer channel for our latest videos. Click here to see our reviews of other sports cars. And don't forget to rate, share, favorite, and comment on this video.